concerned about how hackers crack hashed passwords? You are not alone. Many internet users have these concerns and are curious to know how hackers break into their passwords. In this video, we'll explore the techniques employed by hackers to crack these hashed passwords and demonstrate it with Hashcat in Kali Linux. Watch till the end to learn how you could use this knowledge in protecting your passwords or others. Before we begin, it is important to emphasize hacking is illegal and this video is for educational purpose to help you understand the technique used by hackers to protect yourself and others. Before delve into the cracking hash passwords, let's quickly understand what hashing is. Hashing is a process that converts plain text passwords into a fixed length strings of characters using a mathematical algorithm. The hashing methods used for protecting information from unauthorized change as it is not reversible. This ensures that even if a hacker gains access to the hashed passwords, they can't easily obtain the original password. For example, in Linux machine, your passwords are stored in etc shadow. As you see, passwords are not stored in plain text. The same happens in most online services. So, how do hackers crack passwords? Can they log in to your account with the hash passwords? The answer is no. Every service takes a plain text passwords and uses their hash algorithm to calculate the hash value, then compare it with the one stores in their database. If matched, you are granted access. So, what do hackers do? They use some techniques to overcome this issue and get a password in plain text. We demonstrate brute force attack and dictionary attack techniques in our previous video. Watch it to learn techniques with practical examples. However, in this video, we'll demonstrate the method to find the hash password with a tool called Hashcat. Hashcat is an open source advanced password recovery tool compatible with Linux, macOS, and Windows. It came with Kali Linux as a default tool. If you don't have it in your machine, you can download and install it on your respective operating system from hashcat.net. Enough victory! Let's get our hands dirty. On terminal, type hashcat dash dash help. Now scroll up. In usage, it explains what information should be passed in the command line. For example, you can specify the hash algorithm type after dash m. And after dash a, you can define the attack mode. Let's scroll down and see the options for hash mode. For example, md5 is number 0, SHA-256 is 1400. In attack mode, there is a related number for each attack mode. We use a straight in our example today. At the end of the help output, there are some basic examples for using Hashcat. If you need details information of each option, you can go to the Hashcat manual page. We skip it here as it is not in our scope for this video. To showcase it for you, I create a wordlist.txt and 
added some passwords on it. I also created hash.txt file where I added some hashes. Now let's run the command sudo hashcat a zero I selected attack mode straight dash m zero I used md5 as it is easy to reverse and doesn't take long calculation time dash o provide the output and I specify the name of the file I want every find password be stored on that cracked password.txt and then I passed my hash file hash.txt and then the list of the word word list.txt what will happen by this command is hashcat calculates the hash for each item in word list and compare it with the hash value in a file hash.txt the match will be saved in cracked password.txt file you can run it for any other hash algorithm the process is the same but the computational it depends on which algorithm you are using if you found this video helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on cybersecurity. Until next time, stay secure, stay protected.